Well, in just a matter of hours, state police will be ending their patrols in the French Quarter and surrounding area. But the head of state police says the troopers won't be leaving the city. Instead, they will be placed on other missions, including an assignment from the district attorney's office. What I've maintained for the past 17 weeks, it's difficult to maintain that on, on a constant basis when I don't have as many troopers as they have New Orleans police officers. They were extra boots on the ground for the last few months after some areas saw more high-profile violence on the streets. In particular, this June 29th shooting in the French Quarter that left one woman dead and nine others injured. The head of state police say they were only supposed to be deployed for a month, but it's been four months. Everything that I did was within my own budget. There was no additional dollars from the city of New Orleans. There was no additional dollars from the state. Colonel Mike Edmondson says he pulled troopers from around the region to help supplement NOPD manpower. Edmondson says the troopers will be reassigned to other operations in the area. We're going to take those 44 troopers that, and, and still keep them in the city of New Orleans. They're going to still be working task forces. We can make arrests. We can take drugs off the street. We can take guns off the street. And, and we can make people feel safe. Edmondson says he's glad the troopers were able to make a difference in their time on patrol. And when it comes to effectiveness, the numbers speak for themselves. With over a million dollars worth of drugs taken off the street, 950 something thousand dollars worth of actual currency dollars that was taken off the streets. When you look at uh, 56 stolen uh, or, or illegal weapons people had, when you look at 33 stolen cars. And Colonel Edmondson says some of his troopers will have a new assignment in the coming weeks, funded by District Attorney Leon Canizero's office. Edmondson says state police will be conducting additional traffic patrols in the city looking for things like unsafe cars, speeders, and other violations.